what's up guys from here and today i'm going to be teaching you how to make your own 2d outro for your youtube channel and yes if you're wondering that's exactly the kind of intro i have on my channel uh, so yeah if you want that just keep on watching this video because i'll show you how to make it and yeah if you found this tutorial helpful please remember to to give it a like and yeah maybe we can get 10 likes on this video that would be greatly appreciated and yeah with all of that said let's get started so first of all you want to open up photoshop because that's a program we are gonna make our intro in so just wait for that to load up and wait for the welcome and x that out so now we're here and you want to get a new file so just click a file here and then new and you can just call it whatever you want i'm just going to call it 2d outro like that yeah and then make sure that the width and height is at 1920 and 1080 and that background is at transparent when you have all of that set you can click OK. So here's the canvas for our outro. And yeah, so first of all, you want to have a background. I personally like blue as a background. So I've chosen a light blue color and a dark blue color. But if you like green, you can choose a light green and a dark green and so on and so forth. You don't need a light and a dark version of the color but I personally think that's the best so you want to then choose the gradient tool by just holding the right click if it's not there and then go to gradient tool and then you want to find the middle like about here and then drag it out to the corner like that now we have a simple and nice you know, background uh, it's not done yet, so don't worry about the background being too simple or yeah, too naked. We are going to put on some clothes soon. So yeah, just wait for that. But for now, we are going to add a rectangle for our videos to show in. So to start with, I'm just going to put in 480 pixels by 270 pixels. So wait, just gonna type in 270 like that and then hit OK now we have our triangle and we are gonna have fill to none and then stroke to black just for now and stroke gonna be a little bit smaller just like that I think and now we can move it here if we want probably here and then press ctrl T to select it you see and then you want to go to the corner, hold shift, and then drag the corner to to uh, like change the size of the of the rectangle, but keep the resolution as up. So yeah, just do that, and I can have it like that. And now we want to double click here or right click and blending options. Now we want to put in a color overlay and no, not a color overlay but a gradient overlay so just choose that and change the color and to make it look metallic I think that's cool I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker here and I change the color by double clicking or click twice on those little boxes up there and yeah when we're done with that click OK now we have our box reverse if you want that I don't want that and then a drop shadow I have this to default so that's why it's looking nice but you just want to copy the settings to get the rectangle that I have above me and then click OK when you have the perfect shadow. So now we want to select that layer we just made with the rectangle 
then press Ctrl J to duplicate it. Now we just drag it over about here. Yeah, that looks good. So now we are gonna have a previous and a random video playing in the in the outro. So to kind of say that we are gonna go to the text tool and then click to make a text layer. So we are gonna type in previous here. Select that and make it a little bit smaller so it fits. Oh gonna make that smaller as well. Just gonna Oh I can't 18 okay. Just gonna put it in 18. Like that. So now it's easier to edit all of that. So just like that. Previous. Just put it in the middle here. And yeah, so I get double click here or right click and then blending options. Then gradient overlay. And I'm gonna put down the opacity. Like, oh, I'm just gonna have it to 100. And then drop shadow, just like the rectangle. And then press OK. Maybe we can have it a little bit smaller. So we press Ctrl T again. And then shift and drag. And maybe we can have it over there. Yeah, that looks cool. So now we have our previous, and um, yeah, we want we want it to say random here. So what I like to do instead of kind of copying the effects, I just copy the layer like that, and then go to the text tool and just click there to edit the text. So. I'm just gonna select that and type in random. Just select that. So now we have previous and random. So far so good. But we want it to be more saying at the outro. So maybe a thanks for watching. So let's put that in here. Thanks for Watching, watching, not watching. So just mark that off, or maybe we can just lock that in text. Boom, boom. Maybe we can like that, and maybe we can do this. Just shift click all of the layers like that. And the move tool, I go down a little so we make room for the thanks for watching layer to go on top here. Yeah, I think that looks cool. So now we are gonna right click and blending options or double click and then put in a gradient and a drop shadow like that. But the gradient is a little bit too strong, so we're just gonna take that down like that and hit OK. So now we have a text saying thanks for watching previous and random and a box for the videos to play in. So I'm just gonna put it up a little bit like that. Just like that. And yeah you also want your name in your outro to kind of say who you are. So I'm just gonna press this text and click here and then type in Shrumset because that's my name you type in yours and yeah so let's say your name is banana split so you just type in banana split just gonna make that a little bit bigger like that big I like big so I'm just gonna edit it again create a delay drop shadow and of course you can mix around with the settings to mix around with colors and yeah just make it your own and make it look cool so but since this is a tutorial I'm go just gonna make it like that so now we have charm set and yeah to 
videos uh, thanks for watching maybe we want to put in a subscribe button so then we click on file up here and then place embed embed is that how we say it embed and then you find a subscribe button right here and then again shift click and drag maybe you want it in between the videos maybe a little bit down you know just like that so yeah now we have a subscribe button and yeah so the background looks a little bit plain so we are gonna make it more fancy by adding some particles so you just want to go to google.com and images and search for blue particles png and then find a good particle image i can show you so just open up your web browser go to google images and then type in blue particles png like that and now we want to find a good particle image i think that one's good i yeah, just like that so you want to just right click and then save image as and then save i already have it so i'm just going to replace it no matter and then you want to drag it into your photoshop and then you just want to like do it like that so just Control J again to copy and Control T to select the layer to rotate it and all of that so you just mix it up a little and it will probably look nice nice and smooth and yeah so just gonna make it one more time over here probably like that yeah I love that I like that so here's our 2d outro and um, yeah we can just put the subscribe button up here yep yeah. so guys this has been a tutorial on how to make a 2d outro in Photoshop and if you found this tutorial helpful as said please leave a like down below and also comment on what you want a tutorial next and yeah uh, yeah this has been Shamsit and I'll see you guys soon. Love you.